serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, it has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you shall surely die. You shall not surely die. For God knows that in the day you shall eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to, to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took up its fruit and ate. She also gave it to her husband with her, and he ate. Then their eyes then the eyes of both of them were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Okay. So... Interestingly, in this, in this story, the serpent, which represents Satan, tells, he just lies, right? He just comes out and lies. What else he accuses you know? God of lying. <laughs> yeah. Right? So he says, his, his lie was saying, oh God, no, I'm not lying, God's lying. Yeah. What God said isn't going to true. God just doesn't want you to be cool. He doesn't want you to have all this information, all this knowledge. Now, Notice that he's talking to two people who can see perfectly in the spirit realm and perfectly in the physical realm, who have complete, perfect operation in both realms. They can see everything's going on in the spirit. God walks in, they know, they're, they're, everything is fine. He's telling them, no, it's not true. This God that created you, this guy that you're dealing with, is a liar. He's deceiving you. He's jealous. He doesn't want you to become like him. And, and, and besides, it's like you're not going to die. Okay, so, so here's the first question that we have to come face to face with. Who was the liar? Was God the liar? Or was Satan the liar? Now, before you answer, consider that when Adam and Eve, after they ate the, the, the fruit... They did not physically die. They did not just drop dead. They didn't, okay, so I just wanted to mention that. They did not physically die when they ate the fruit. Okay? So, Satan said, you won't die if you eat it. God says you will, I'm saying you won't. So, which one was telling, which one told the truth? God or Satan? Which one told the truth? Okay. okay. So if God told the truth, that means they died. So if they died, how did they die? And, and their human spirit died. So now Adam and Eve are body and soul. And their human spirit is dead. So their interface to the spirit realm now doesn't work right anymore. Because the interface may still be there in their soul, but their human spirit isn't functioning right anymore because it's dead. It becomes dysfunctional. So when you think about that, now you can start looking at human behavior and human reaction, and what do they do with God? They hid from Him because they couldn't stand His presence. They couldn't stand to be in his presence anymore. What you were talking about before where you said, all of a sudden, people that were with God, all of a sudden can't be with God anymore. He overwhelms them because their human senses aren't, their, their spirit is not functioning anymore. And so that the, the raw signal from the spirit realm is coming right into their soul. Without the filters, without the processing, it's just coming right in. It would be like turning up the volume 
to you know a million decibels and pounding it into your ears. Oh, if they're if they're setting right. So now now they're you know they they ate and they died immediately. They became spiritually dead, and humankind now changes because. What we see in the New Testament is Jesus talking and, and Paul talking about how we were all born as sons of Adam. Adam and Eve were created. Every human being that was born after them was born without a human spirit. That doesn't mean God can't awaken the spirit, can't bring the spirit alive. And, and we have examples in the Old Testament where he did. But if you look at humankind... For the most part, from that day forward, we're dealing with an inability to clearly perceive what's going on in the spirit realm. An inability and a desire to the occult and other things to reconnect to the spirit realm. A desire to reconnect even though our human spirit is dead and, and not functioning anymore. So think of it this way. Just... Again, an imperfect analogy, but a, a way to think about it. When you eat food, all of your senses are participating in what you think the food tastes like. It's not just your sense of taste, but your sense of smell, what it looks like, the texture of it, how it feels. All of those things go into what you call my, my what, tasting food. When I was doing digital video, we learned a very interesting thing. <coughs> you know, pressing the video and replaying it in, in the early days, we were trying to figure out how to, how to do it. And we would take, and we, we developed experts, expert viewers that could look for all the weird stuff that would show up, you know, when you didn't do it right. But we'd take video, and we'd, we'd put it in a, in a little viewing area, theater, and, and, if, and we found that if we just hooked up stereo speakers and put the video, people would see all kinds of problems. But if we did five channel surround sound and put all the audio in, everyone thought the video was better, even if it was exactly the same. We'd take exactly the same video, we'd mix it with, with two channel stereo and with six channel surround sound, and every person that went in there said, that, one, that video is better than that video. We said, we only care about what it looks like. Don't pay attention to the sound, just what it looks like. They'd walk in, yeah. and here's the bad part. The really bad part is, those of us who were expert viewers, who knew exactly what was going on, we'd walk in there and we knew it was the same video because we made it, and I still thought that the video was better with the sound. I couldn't turn that part of my brain off. I couldn't turn that part off because my senses worked together in order to give me the, my understanding of what I'm, of what's going on around me. So we have these human beings who have their physical senses and their spiritual senses and, all, and they're trying to understand things, what's good and what's evil, what's, what's, what's valid and what's not. You know, what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to respond, how I'm supposed to act in this world. And all of a sudden, half of their senses are thrown out. And now they're like, you know, they're, they're like one from surround sound to two channel. They don't have all the data anymore. They don't have all the information anymore. Before, they would go, they, you know, here's the simple thing. Is something right or wrong? Just ask the Holy Spirit. Is it right or wrong? Boom. Don't do it. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Now, they have to use their own human conscience. Their human conscience is now the judge because spiritually they're disconnected from that source of data in the spirit realm. It was automatic. It was automatic to them, just like seeing and hearing is automatic. When you walk outside, you see and you hear. They'd walk in, into the world and their spiritual senses would start working. All of a sudden, that's all cut off. And now they've got to compensate for it. So human beings are now trying to compensate for spiritual death. And they, and they do it poorly. Because part of us is dead. And the issue about heaven and hell becomes only an issue because God is spirit. And in the spirit realm, you can't even, you can't even participate in something that's part of the spirit realm if your human spirit is dead. You have no way to even get there. You have no way to even understand what's going on there because your human spirit has been is, is dead. 